A rain gutter is made from sheets of aluminum that are 28 centimeters wide. The first step in forming the rain gutter is to turn the edges up to form right angles, as shown in the diagram below. So basically what they're telling us here is we have 28 centimeters of, of metal or of aluminum to work with. And from the 28 centimeters, we have to fold up an edge of height X to create a cross section that's X amount high and 28 minus 2X amount wide. So f the taller that we make this cross section, the skinnier it's going to be at the base. The base, like I said, is 28 centimeters minus 2x, and then the height is just x. So the area of this is obviously going to be t x times 28 minus 2x. The cross-sectional area is a, a equals x times 28 minus 2x, where x is the height of the turned-up edges. To the nearest centimeter, the height of the turned-up edge x that will maximize the cross-sectional area is how many centimeters? Okay, so how do we uh, how do we figure this out? <clears throat> We're going to use some calculus here, and I promise it's going to be very easy. So don't worry if you haven't been taught it in class; you can learn it right here. It's extremely easy. A equals x times twenty-eight minus two x. As we saw, that's the that's the function for the area. Step one. Expand the area equation to get a polynomial. Okay, simple enough. Just multiply the x by 28 and the x into this to get 28x minus 2x squared. So that's simple. Okay, so our next step is to take the derivative. Take the derivative of the polynomial. To do this, use the following steps. For the first term, ignore the x. In other words, 28x simply becomes 28. For the second term, multiply the coefficient by the exponent of the x. In other words, negative 2, which is the coefficient, times 2, which is the exponent of the x, equals negative 4. Then reduce the exponent by 1. In other words, x squared becomes x. The result is the derivative of a, which we call a prime. Okay, so once again, the area function is 28x minus 2x squared. And to take the derivative, we use the steps that we just talked about. The 28x, you just ignore the x, that becomes 28. From the negative 2x squared, you multiply the negative 2 with the 2. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And then reduce the 2, the exponent of 2, to a 1. So instead of x squared, it's now x. Two, negative 2x squared becomes negative 4x. In other words, a prime equals 28 minus 4x. So taking the derivative of a polynomial is that simple. It's very straightforward, very simple. Step 3. Set a prime equals to 0 to locate the optimal value of x. So a prime the derivative that we just found is 28 minus 4x. But to find the optimal value of x, we have to make this equal to 0. The derivative equal to 0. So now we have 28 minus 4x equals 0. So 28 equals 4x. Divide both sides by 4. Simply, x equals 7. And that's the answer to our problem. Numerical response. 7 centimeters.